Uncle Go Clip. That's why I also play that auto chat. I have time between moves to think, and I also can help the community to improve in that game, so I can actually focus more on my uh, Twitch chat. But um, what you are saying is actually really good because Twitch offers you the possibility not to just be a gaming channel. Like right now, we could have this on Twitch, like we could stream podcasts. You can you can say a talk. You can have just chatting with the Twitch chat, or you can just play Hearthstone. So it offers you like huge amount of possibilities, mm-hmm. and that's why a variety. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is that this is what changed in the last ten years. Whatever you're interested in, you want to see how it looks. You go on Twitch and you will find find it. If somebody is annoying as a streamer, doesn't matter. Go to the other one. If you like smaller communities, go to a smaller community. For yeah. example, my favorite Twitch streamer for TFT, there are a couple of them with two, three thousands. There's one guy with 50, and he's amazing. He's mm-hmm. really amazing, but he's like more chill and calm. He's not like a entertainer, but he always answers questions to the community. And me and my friends, who also play a lot, we decided that it's really important for us that we have a smaller community than we watch a stream. Mm-hmm. So it's also a good idea to try to build a small community, but you will get more appreciation. The rest yeah. will come at one moment, but everything else starts with a small and stable community. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.